colorful. You did? We w Now we can get back to work. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. In this case, the Dragonborn is going to clear out the Draugr in Soljun's sinkhole. And if you ever come around Soljun's sinkhole, you'll bump into this guy called Perth, who tells you it's closed because they broke into an old tomb and Draugr are running around and. Well, you just can walk in and start killing Draugr and clear it out and do him a favor, which is what I'm about to do after this dragon is slain. Soljun's sinkhole is not a large um, dungeon or place, but it's loaded with Draugr. And I'm probably going to switch to the bow and see where I gets me. But once you get to this area here, you can go through another passage, but... Let's see. This area, you gotta drop down to the bottom and start fighting Draugr. And you can drop down onto that post and then walk your way over and drop down to the floor level where you see a dead Briton who is probably mining. I'm gonna flip to swords and take these guys down. After you take down and loot the Draugr uh, um, in the main area, there's a little bit of a walk to the next encounter. I'm just going to fast forward through that. You get to this room and it's a lever trap. Don't grab that lever. Um, I'm going to cast some light here. And what you want to do is you pull these side levers, this one over here first, you turn around, and there is this one over here on the right side. Now, you pull, you don't even bother pulling the second lever. You do, and you'll end up in an arrow trap. And you come up here, and you get into uh, this Draugr battle here. With that done, loot the Draugrs and the room. There's plenty of treasure around this room. Don't forget to search it and clear it. I'm going to move on to the next encounter. After that last battle, you move into what is essentially the main room. And there is a dragon priest. And he can zap you with electricity. And then there's that 
idol that is shooting fireballs. Go after the dragon priest and take him down. With the Dragon Priest dead, you can search the main room and go to the boss chest without being fricasseed by this idol here. And there's really nothing to it. It's just magical. And the stuff on the table is not really worth a lot, but a ruby and some alchemy ingredients. Not too bad. Uh, nothing else. So the boss chest. Eh, whatever. Not that good. Now, you've cleared the main room. You can go up to up Moonstone Orvane. You're going to need a pickaxe. Like I said, you pick up some pickaxes, enchant them with some banish, and you got yourself some money. After you've cleared Soldier's Sinkhole, there I believe there still is another room, but what I'm going to do is grab a pickaxe and mine the Moonstone Ore, but I'm going to charge up my swords here with some Soul Gems, and now you just drop down here. You can't really climb back up, which sucks, but now over here is a pickaxe, which I'm going to grab and go back and mine the Moonstone. In the main room, there are two Moonstone ore veins that you can mine. And then there is another area where you can mine some more Moonstone. And I'm going to fast forward to that area and show you. You'll have to fight a couple Draugr. Right here where you picked up the pickaxe to the right is this area and there's some more Draugr to fight it's usually to the immediate left when you enter but in this case i passed by and did the main area these Draugr pretty easy Draugr rights whites and restless Draugr um yeah you come up here and you take out this Draugr if you don't fall and you can mine some more Moonstone Ore. That pesky Draugr gone, there's some Moonstone Ore. A pickaxe, if you can afford it, pick it up and enchant it. Like I said, time and again, pickaxes, you enchant them with Banish. And not only does it raise your enchantment level, it gives you more money because you take a cheap pickaxe that is worth, what, 20 gold maybe, 10 gold, and it's now worth 900 gold. I'm going to fast forward through the mining of this ore and get you to the end here. Once you exit, you can talk to Perth and even sell him the Moonstone Ore that you happen to mine. Unless you want to take it back and use it to build a house or make some armor. i got to find Perth here. And, yep, he is overlooking at the dragon bones. Yippee skippy. Colorful. You did? We now we can get back to work. Thank you. Until next time. Good to see you again. All right then. Heard about you and your honey. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I hope you found this video at least entertaining. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave some comments.
I make four video game related videos a week. You don't want to miss out, so hit that subscribe button and bell icon. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.